So we start by going to our model wizard. And in the model wizard window, click the 2D, select our speed dimension. So we click 2D, which brings us to our physics. And we select chemical species and transports. So under, we have transports of diluted species then we add we click add to add this physics to our work and also in over here we go to the mathematics and we want to add the partial differential equations we go to lower dimensions we go to the general form. Want to add general form? We click add. Okay. So in the dependent variables table, we enter the following. Field name, we enter CS for our field name. So that's what we'll be using. Okay. Now we move to our study. Then we'll be using a time dependent study. So we add a time dependent study, then done. Then that brings us to our interface here so it brings us to our console interface as you can see over here so we will quickly add our parameters that we'll be using for our work so we come to parameters global definitions then parameters then we want to load from file. So we'll be using the transport and absorption, absorption parameters. We'll open to load our parameters as you can see over here. So this brings our parameters as we can see over here. So we have our parameters, the initial concentration, forward gas, diffusivity, maximum velocity, channel width, and what have you. So now that we have our parameters, I think we can go to geometry now. So go to a geometry and we'll build our geometry in here. So how do we start building our geometry? We go to units. We want to change our units first to, let's change it first to millimeters. So we are building in millimeters. Let me widen this interface here so we can we can see how I build my geometry. So first start by building a rectangle. So I right click and I add a rectangle as you can see in here. The width of my rectangle I'll be using zero point one. The height of it, I'll be using 0 0.3. As you can see, so the position, the section in the Y field, let's use minus 0 0.1. And let's click build or object. So we have our, we've built our first geometry, as you can see in here. So if, if we built our rectangle, now we want to add, we're going to build our second uh, geometry. So we want to add, this time we want to add 
something different. I want to add a point. So I came here, right click, and you, you go to more primitives and you, you click on the points as you can see over here. So I've so we add our point, then we have to indicate the position of our points. So in the X field, we want to type 0 0.1. In the Y field, we also want to type 0 0.1. As you can see, then we build or we have our points over here. This is our point, as you can see in here. Now, so this is our first point, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. Now we add another point. We'll add another point. And in the X field, it will be 0 0.1. So we go ahead to build all. So now we have our two points, as you can see. So now that we've, we are done building our geometry, now we can go to variables. You can add our variables now. So let's add our variables. So we add our, well, let's add, we add a loop. Okay, we, 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 we added our variables over here. So now variables over here. We choose the name, which will be R. And the expression will be K A D S. Star C, star comma underscore S. C S slash K underscore D C S. CS. We want that to be our surface reaction, surface reaction rate. Surface reaction rates. As we have in here. Okay, so. So we built our, our geometry, we've written a variable in here, which we'll go ahead, we'll, de we'll define the particular area for these variables.
So it's giving us that we have an unknown definition as CS. So we'll later define it as we go on. As we go on, we'll, we'll define that part. Okay, so let me add local variable. I already added the local variable in here. Let me delete this local variable that I've already added. Because I already have one local. No. I come to okay. So added my variables. I've added my parameters. And I've defined my variables, parameters, and drawn my geometry over here. There's one more thing I have to do before, before we move on. Okay, so it's uh, the geometry entry sequence. We have pairs, non pairs. We have the probes. You know, let's go ahead later on. I think I'll remember and we'll get back to that side. So let's go ahead to add our second variable. We'll add a second variable. That will be B. Max uh, one minus have another bracket, another bracket. bracket. We have X minus zero point five. Now we have times. Delta bracket closest and we have zero point five times delta bracket closest and we have two. Okay. 
Oh, let me choose this one. Yeah. What's L as we so that would be the inlets. I want to name this as the inlet velocity profile. Inlet velocity profile. We have our inlet velocity profile. Okay. So now that we've, we've defined our second variable as the profile, we'll go ahead. This CS has to be, to be defined later on as we move on. Yeah, it will be defined later on as we go on. Okay. So now we go to transport one. And in transport one, the transport of diluted species, we click the transport properties one. So we locate the diffusion section over here. And 